Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action from courtside here at uh, Staff Gymnasium. And alongside with me by broadcast partner is Chris Brazil. And Chris Brockton came in here the other night and really controlled, after the uh, first period, they really came in and controlled the boards against um, the Brighton team and just dominated once the second quarter began. And that was because of the, um, when they inserted, uh, let me see here, Zang Korea. And he just came in and just intimidated, blocked shots, uh, had a few ducks, and just energized this Brockton team. Yeah, Zang Korea, he's literally a game changer. Every time, every time the, the coach inserts him to the game, late in the game or around the second quarter, he changes the game, changes the momentum of the game, and Brockton ends up winning. Really, really, if this game ends up being close, expect the same thing to happen. Now, uh, excuse me, um, Chris, but these two teams, Brockton comes here 6-1, and one, New Bedford 1-6. and six. Can we throw out the, um, the, um, the record and they always have a competitive game? Yeah, it'll be a competitive game. Record doesn't matter. It's, a, it's, basket, it's sports. It doesn't matter. All right, here we go with the tip-off. New Bedford's in their red uh, uniform. Brockton is in their home white. And New Bedford wins the tap. Looks like Brockton's playing a man-to-man -man to begin this game against the Whalers. Nice drive to the basket. That was number one, Kendall Franklin. Okandola throws the ball away, so that's Brockton's first turnover. Usually Chris takes a few minutes for Brockton to settle down and, and get into their game. Yeah, it happens almost every game for Brockton. They, they usually find a niche around the second quarter. And Zenden Carrera, as we just mentioned, hopefully he could do that for this team. Okay, looks like there was a foul called. And that was on number 22, Louise Charles. So at the free throw line is number two, Dejon Chumak. And Dejon's a senior. Makes the first free throw attempt. Second one is good. Dewan Schumach leads the team in points with 12.6 points per game. Hopefully, let's see if he could step up and do his job. Brockton breaks the full court press. They get it in the corner. Inside Okandola, he takes the stop and pop and it's no good. And here come the Whalers. Shot is no good. Whalers with the ball underneath and they lose it. Here comes Navon Reed. Navon Reed has been a bit non-existent to me the last several games. I hope he could just step it up and do something for the boxes. Oh, Brockton retains the basketball. That's uh, Todd Robinson, top of the key. Okandola inside, muscles his way in the paint, and is fouled. Nice post-up job by Okandola. Gets physical, and he'll be at the free throw line to shoot two. This looks like this is going to be a big game for Okandola. They're, they're, they're trapping him early. They're double-teaming him early. He's going he's gonna to need to step up. Yeah, and the great thing about Okandola, he doesn't mind getting physical inside the paint with the opponent. Nice touch at the free throw line. Okandola has for a big man when he shoots his free throws. Of course, I jinxed him there. You did jinx him. <laughs> Nice defense by the boxers. Okandola got his hands out there. Robinson spins. Navon Reed in the paint. Long bomb is no good. Okandola puts it up nicely with the offensive boards. Nice, nice take by Okandola. 
quickly. New Bedford comes back down the court. Chumack. Inside goes Pina, and he is fouled. A pretty aggressive start so far for the New Bedford Railers. Yeah, they've been very aggressive going to the hoop. They're, they know what they're going up against against Brockton, 6-1. and one. Their thinking might be drive to the basket early, maybe get some of their big men and uh, some early fouls on the big men. So Louise Charles comes out. And uh, Josiah Davis is in. Senior. And the free throw attempt is good. You bet it with a 6-3 lead. And they're gonna call travel on Robinson. Almost looks like Dos Santos had the open shot in the corner. He liked it to give it outside up top to, the, um, to uh, Robinson. So another turnover for the boxes with 5.08 left in this third quarter, 6-3. New Bedford lead early on. Shot is missed. Davis couldn't quite get it off the backboard to get in. And that was number 10, Lugo Sanchez. And these New Bedford wheels are really hustling early on in this ball game, Chris. Yeah, they really are. I think Brockton needs to um, re reply, to, reply to what they're pretty much doing right now. They're sort of, they're sort of disrespecting Brockton right now in the home court. That's Pina in the corner. And Chumac goes in strong and is fouled and he'll go to the free throw line. Chumac looks very strong at driving to the basket. He's, yeah, he got, he's got some height on him. Yeah, he is very strong. He looks about 6'2", 6'3", and, yep. and also a point guard. Leads the team in assists as well. And, and that's tall for a high school guard. That is very tall for a high school guard, yes. Nine on the mid. Yes. No, uh, no travel. And nice effort by Navon. And where's the body contact? Oh, this is getting crazy. Bam, bam. And there was a confrontation on the floor. The ball was at the other end of the court. And Okendolan, one of the one of the um, New Bedford teammates, one of the Bedford team members were having some conversation. They've called a technical foul. I believe on Brockton. Wow. So Okendola must have said something. Yeah, Okendola, Okendola just pretty much standing up for Navon Reed, his teammate. Yeah. That's what you got to do. But, 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 yeah, but, he he, just, but he did sacrifice a technical for that. Right. And, and you don't take it any further than that because you don't want to get uh, kicked out of the game early in the game because they, they do need Okendola. The boxers do need Okendola heavily. He needs, he needs the chill. He needs the chill. That's all it is. Franklin makes both free throws. It's a 10-3 boxer deficit with 4.01 left in this first quarter. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Brazil bringing you conference action here in Stolen. 
and he blows the layup. Side Davis hustles back for it, though. Makes it in. Oh, they call a jump ball. Joshua Davis, blown opportunity, but great hustle to get the ball back. This is exactly what Brockton needs to do back to the New Bedford Railers. And Okendoa was fouled by the big man, came across over the back. That was on Kenneth Franklin, so he'll come out. Robinson, ball is tipped. The boxes, the boxes, they just have to remain composed. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of playing time left. The, New Bedford is getting in their heads, but just do the same thing back to them in a respectful manner. And that'll be off uh, New Bedford. Nice shot by, who is that, number 33, who just came in, Jason Starks. Hits a big shot coming right off the bench. A nice shot by Jason Starks. Ooh, nice drive. Ooh, I, I don't know about, uh, Yeah, I don't uh, know about that either. A little tic tac to me. Yeah, that was close, very close. We don't have our replay monitor here this evening, so we won't be able to see it, but it's New Bedford's ball with a 12-6 lead. And New Bedford really hustling after the basketball and the loose balls. Doing a little bit better job than Brockton is at the moment. And we've got some substitution. Looks like the it looks like the boxes will go with Trenton Biddle and Diamond Blakely. Okay. A little bit, a little bit of more small ball. A little bit more small ball. Navon Reed with the rebound, and here come the boxes. Ooh, that should have been a foul. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Missed call right there on start. And a nice shot by Baron Hilton for the Whalers. Full court press by um, the Whalers. Ooh, I saw some contact. No foul. No call. Okay. And Okendola puts okay. it in. Okendola with authority. With authority, yes. This game looks like there's just a lot of pride being played out on the court. It's kind of entertaining to see, honestly. Yeah, this rivalry goes way back. Oh, nice drive there by Pina. New Bedford shooting pretty high from the field so far. Oh, and he still made the basket and got the call. Nice job by Pina. Put his body between himself and the, the basketball and the defensive player and made a nice shot. 18 to eight, 10 point New Bedford lead at the moment with 133 on the clock here in the first quarter. But as we mentioned earlier, the game change is, heading, is coming into the game. Zenin Carrera, number 15 for the boxes. Let's see what he does. Yo, I know the last game when um, Korea came in, he, like I said, he energized the, um, the boxes and um, they never looked back after that against Good. Brighton. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Let's see, let's see if we reminisce some deja vu. Good. 
And there's gonna be a foul. Number Korea was uh, fouled. And it'll be taken out underneath. Long bomb is no good. Back come the Whalers. Yeah, Daiwan Schumach, uh, ooh, uh, stole, uh, steal. And Brockton got a little sloppy on the inbound, and New Bedford stole it. And Pina went back up with the steal and was fouled on the play, so he'll shoot two. Boxers digging themselves in a hole at the moment, Chris. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big hole. I think yeah, the, um, the, even even the bench for the New Bedford Whalers. They know this is a big game. It's a division game. They, 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 they're, 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 really, they're not playing like their record, honestly. And, and they would like nothing better coming in here at one and six to knock off the six and one boxers. Still early, but uh, that's their intention. That's their goal this evening. Yes, it, it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Brockton's having a tough time taking that ball out. Yeah, Trent, Trenton Biddle a little bit confused, wanted his players a certain a certain direction and couldn't find them. Brock in that time finally got it down there, had it open man, Dos Santos, and he just couldn't quite connect on the easy bunny. So he'll go through the free throw line as he was fouled with 31 seconds left in this first period. 25 to eight, box a deficit. Santos makes his two free throws, cuts it down to 15 point deficit. Another turnover for the boxes. Shaking and baking. And that's the end of the first quarter with New Bedford fired up here with a 27 to 10 lead over the six and one uh, Brockton boxes. Chris? Yeah, it was yeah, I'm a little I'm a little befuddled of, of what I just saw. I mean New Bedford, they're, they're really taking this game, they're really taking this game very, very seriously because of their record and because of Brockton's because of Brockton's status as well. Brockton really just needs to um Play with more heart. They're really, they're really not showing enough heart. I think I think they were just a little confused about what they saw. They weren't ready. They really weren't. They really just didn't expect to New Bedford to come out like this. But as we said, Brockton usually have slow starts. Zenit Carrera needs to, needs to produce his points, and this game will be more closer. And hopefully, Brockton could end up with the win. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. I think one thing Brockton needs to do is in, increase their uh, guard play. Right now, New Bedford's guard play is out shining Brockton's guard play. Brockton need their guards need to be a little bit more 
offensive minded, maybe drive to the basket a little bit more. But right now, New Bedford's guards are looking very good out there. And that's the reason I think they have a 17 point lead at the end of this first period. Yeah, that is a big reason. I mean, the, um, the offensive the offensive um, performance we're seeing by Dewan Schumacher is, is really putting New Bedford ahead. One of the reasons why. Okay, so we start the second quarter. So New Bedford will end it inbounds. Still, New Bedford comes out of that first quarter still fired up, going after all the loose balls. Blakely, shot is missed. And that was a neat, nice, nice um, transition right there. They got it down very quickly. Smart play by Tajan Silva. Yes. Smart play by Threw the touchdown pass Good. to uh, DeSantos. No, it's Trenton Biddle. Oh, Bit was it Biddle? Yes. Finish, Carlos. Too many times the defense has broken down. Nice shot there, that was a big shot by Biddle. Nice shot by Biddle. Biddle usually has these, these little surges that he usually goes on and, and continues to score. Let's see if he can show it right now. 29-15, with 6.30 on the clock here in the second quarter. Shot is blocked. Ooh. And they're gonna call foul on Dos Santos. Crowd doesn't like it. Looked like it was all ball, but he was a little bit closer to the play than we were. And, Bro and Brockton's at the penalty right now with seven fouls. So that means New Bedford will be to the line consistently. Nice shot there. Looked like he got fouled, but he put it up strong. And that's going to be off of um, Brockton. And New Bedford calls a timeout with 5.54 on the clock. It's a 31. 17, New Bedford way to the lead. Yeah, the momentum swinging a little bit, just a little bit to Brockton's favor. That's what they need, and that's the reason why New Bedford called this timeout. Yeah, and I can see that Coach Bowen, he has um, both big guys in there, uh, Zenden Korea and um, uh, Okendola. Okendola. He's got them both in there. I mean, see if they can get a little bit more boards, because right now New Bedford's controlling the boards on both ends of the court. A lot of time Brockton comes down on the offense and gets one shot and uh, New Bedford gets the boards and comes back down and scores. So they need to work on their uh, offensive as well as their defensive rebounding. Yeah, most certainly. Height matters. Height matters. And Brockton really needs that right now. So Coach Bowen is talking to his teammates, trying to figure out how to um, 
get out of this quagmire and um, really get a run going. They really haven't had a good run. It yeah. seems like um, they, they get something going and uh, New Bedford just answers back. Yeah, they answer back and they answer back with force. Just multiple points after multiple points. New Bedford's really playing hard in this one. They're really playing hard. But Brockton just have to, has to search for the weakness. Brockton started to exert even more pressure. So nice defense right there. The 30-second clock went off just as he let go of the basketball. Exactly what Brockton needed. And Josiah Davis, I like his bat. I like his game. Let's see what he does right now. Wow. Bad pass right there. Nice block there by Korea. Nice transition game right there by the Whalers, 33-17. And New Bedford is doing a good job of just closing up the paint. Just so the big men will not score and yeah. get any rebounds, as you just said. Oh, nice inside pass, Okandoa to uh, Korea. That was what Brockton was just looking for. That was it. That's not it. Grab. Oh, and foul on Biddle. Not Josiah Davis. Excuse me. Josiah Davis. Yes, Davis. A, a, bit, a bit too physical for Josiah Davis. Yeah, a bit too physical. So we got a few substitutions here with 435 left in this first half. First free throw is good by Franklin. Second free throw attempt is good. Call the foul on New Bedford. So the boxers will take it out from underneath. So it's a jump ball. It'll be Brockton's ball. Acrobatic move by Navon Reed, and he was fouled in the process. Yeah, another thing I think Brockton needs to draw their fouls and um and, and hit their free throws. Just just a little a little way to get back in this game. Well, with the score 35-19, free throws are very critical. Even though we're still in the first half, free throws are critical for the boxers. They need every point that they can get before the second quarter ends. Try to get this game down to uh, just one digit, under 10 points. Right now they're down 15 points. 
And nice hustle by Okandola. And it'll be Brockton's ball. A fresh shot clock for Brockton too. And the ball is stolen. Nice defense by the Whalers. And Korea's gonna foul him. The new Bedford player, Messiah Morgan. Who's a sophomore. Raider, Raider. Man, the New Bedford defense is just looking incredible right now. Really good. They, they are really looking that they came out to play this evening, especially on the defensive end. Get back. Carlos, get back. Spin back. Spin the side. Rebound, go. Hold it. Go, go, Oh, not, not a good pass by Navon. Tried to thread the needle. And that'll be a foul on Okandola. That is, that is Brockton's 10th foul of the half. This New Bedford is just really just picking their poison. They're really hustling and just taking it to the hole when they get it and creating fouls. So Okandola will come out and Korea will come back in. They're also hitting their free throws too. Another reason why they're up. They get back, get back. And Brockton can't seem to hold on to the football. I mean, the basketball. Brockton just is not answering the best to this full court trap that this New Bedford Whaler team is doing. Well, on the rebounds, they're just not grabbing the ball. It seems like they're tipping it. Another thing, too. Ooh, nice job. Double pump. And in for Navon, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play right there. Nice play by um, Navon Reed, the sophomore. Three twenty-one on the clock here in the second quarter. The box is still trying to claw their way out. Oh. Wow, golden opportunity right there. The two Brockton players ran into each other. I believe Navon Reed kicked the ball out of Diamond Blakely's hands. Yeah. So they reset the 30 shot, 30 shot clock, 30 second shot clock. New Bedford got a fresh 30 seconds. And this New Bedford team is very quick. Their, their, their offense is, their, look at their offense. The ball move is just great. But a nice steal by Diamond Blakely. It'll be a jump ball. Oh, they're gonna call a foul. So Brockton got a break there. It was a foul. So Blakely will go to the free throw line. Go, 
Got Mickey feet those. So, New Bedford calls a timeout with 2.47 left in this second quarter. 36-22. Boxes til still trying to claw their way out. Yeah, I mean, the, they really got to respond better to the, to the full court trap. They're still not doing a good job of that. New Bedford is just playing very quick, as you, uh, as you, as you alerted to earlier. Todd Robinson, I really wanted him to show out. I think they're really, they really figured out his game. He's the, lead, he's, a, he's the star point guard of the team. I want him to score, get, get his buckets early. Avon Reed has been a little active. Zenit Carrera has been a little non-existent. They, they really just shut down the boxes right now. Yeah, I, I think this is one of the quicker teams that Brockton has faced this year. Yes. Very is. quick, uh, yes. New Bedford. I'm impressed with how quick they are. Playing very smart offense, playing very aggressive, very aggressive defense. A lot of full court press, which is really disrupted Brockton's uh, offensive flow. But Brockton still has the pride in them. They, 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 know, what they're, they know what they're wearing, the red, black, and white. They're, they, they, they still got the champion's heart. That's Todd Robinson. Lays it up and he'll in. Take, he'll take it. Good aggressive defense right there. As Brockton was rewarded with two points, two easy points. And they, Brockton can't do that. They just can't leave a man open. New Bedford did a great job of breaking Brockton's press. Shot good by Robinson. And there's a timeout, injury timeout, I believe, as one of New, New Bedford players goes down. Ooh. Oh, this doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. That is Carlos Lugo Sanchez. Ooh. So his teammates help him off the court. And he will be tended to by Brockton's medical staff. So 158 left in this second quarter. Box has got it down to 12 points. 38-26. New Bedford will inbound the ball. Call a foul on Korea. Yeah, you really cannot yeah. hold him like that. You cannot right. do that. You can't smother him like that. And you have your, like you said, he held him a little bit. Not meaning to, he's just playing aggressive defense. But you have to be a little bit smarter than that. Yeah, that was not a smart play at all. First shot is missed by Pina. Over to Robinson, back of Blakely in the corner. Yeah, Brockton wants the wants something inside. And Korea was fouled. And that's what Brockton wants to do. Get it inside and let New Bedford play that very aggressive defense and hopefully a foul is called. Yes. No fast, D, no fast. 
Shot is missed. Back come New Bedford. Nice steal by Zenda Carrera. Yeah, nice steal. And he is fouled. So I believe he'll go to the free throw line with 113 on the clock. Box is down 39-26. First shot is good. I think Zender Carrera, it looks like he's gonna have a big game tonight. I, I believe he'll play most of the minutes in the second half. It looks like he's gonna have a big game. He Brock, just, Brockton he, really needs him right now. Yeah, he just has to stay out of foul trouble. No dumb fouls. Korea's got that nice lollipop free throw shot. Yeah, yeah. Nice steal by Robinson. Nice pass. Nice. Oh. Nice. Nice job by Davis to be there for the miss. Okinola. Ooh, nice job, nice body movement by Okadola. Crowd is up on their feet. Brockton's brought it back to single digits, exactly what they want. They got the crowd into it too. With 48 seconds left, crowd does not like the call, but uh, the box is gonna have to live with it and number one, Franklin will go to the free throw line. So Brockton with a lot of pressure these last few minutes, real good hustle pressure. Like you said, has dropped the lead down to eight points. So Ogundola will come out. And Biddle will come in. Coach Bowen doesn't want Ogundola to get a pick up another foul with less than a minute to go in this first half. Yes, yes. Too, vi too valuable. They need him in the second half. Yes. Fox is trying to run the clock down a little bit. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. About 30 left on the um, regular clock. Shot no good by Davis. I mean, excuse me, Louise Charles with the shot was missed for the boxes. So New Bedford with 25 seconds has the ball. Whoa. Oh, come on, that Ooh. looked like an offensive foul. He came in there with the body. I believe his feet were planted too. Ah, oh, that was a tough call on the boxes there. That definitely looked like number 21. His feet were planted as well. I cannot pronounce his name. Arizona. How about you, Chris? David Abelorina. Abelorina. <laughs> Abelorina, yes. Abelorina. He looked like he initiated the contact. And the uh, boxes did not get a break. Another lucky break for the new Bedford Whalers. Yeah. Lead back up to 12 points. Boxes have the ball, last shot with 10 seconds on the clock. Gotta, see, gotta, gotta release it quick. And Brockton could not capitalize there. So the second quarter ends with Brockton down 43 to 31. And Chris, what did you like in that last, say, five, six minutes of that second quarter? Yeah, honestly, honestly, what I liked, Brockton, Brockton, Brockton kind of responded a little bit. 
that foul call in the, around half court on Todd Robinson, I believe, that really that really shook the momentum. New Bedford scored. New Bedford went to the line con constantly right after that foul. The crowd was into it after that, and, and New Bedford just just New Bedford just answered back. They they re they replied to they replied to the shots Brockton was taking, and um. Yeah, yeah, but Brockton needs, but Brockton needs to respond. Brockton needs to respond. Well, there you go, folks. This is Miles Jackson along with Chris Brazil. We'll be back with exciting second half action in a moment. Welcome back, everybody, to Brockton High Basketball. We just starting the second half here at Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Brazil, bringing you the exciting action here at Staff Gymnasium. And New Bedford has got it on the outside. Little dish inside and the shot is missed. New Bedford gets their own rebound and somehow it was blocked. Chris and um, Fox has still got to be a little bit more aggressive on those offensive boards. Okandola tries to drive in. Shot is missed and out comes New Bedford. And that was on Korea. Yeah, I know Coach Bowen's not happy with that foul with Korea. I mean, we just started the third quarter, 7-16, still left. And I believe Korea picked up his third foul, possibly. Like the way how Brockton started, though. They were a bit aggressive with that, with that three-point shot from DeSantos. Second free throw attempt is good. Luis Charles out top. Inside to Okandola. Shot it. Nice shot. Down by 10. going to call a foul right away on Robinson. Oh, a travel. Nice break there for the boxes. Nice dish to Korea inside Okandola with the nice pass. Yeah, Okandola, he's a, a, a multi-skilled multi big man. He can do that. Luis Charles to Okandola. Long bomb by Robinson, no good. Shot is made by 13, Pina. Forty-six, thirty-six. boxes down by 10. Shot is no good. Luis Charles goes back in with the rebound, in and out. Yeah, golden opportunity lost there by the Whalers. Ooh, shake and bake by Okandola. Nice body control as he got in the paint, avoided the contact. Boxes cut it down to eight points, 46-38. Ooh, nice. Pina threw in a prayer. Louise Child, no good. Okandola with the rebound. And he was in the right place at the right time there. And that's what Brockton needs to be a more aggressive on the offensive boards, give themselves uh, another uh, second or third attempt at the shots because they're not making the outside shot like they usually do. Oh, they are not really, they are not at all. And Oakland Lola has really stepped up 10 points so far. And, uh, and, and, he really, and he really needs to step up and do more. I want him to contribute more. Yeah, I see Korea's really getting aggressive, but he needs to be careful and, and, and no dumb fouls. He, he needs to play good defense, but he's got the long arms. Just use your, your um, the size of your body to um, try to 
make the deflection or the turnover. Yeah, he has about three or four fouls right now, and, and, I, believe, and I believe Coach Bowen wants him on the bench right now, or, or if he, is he on the court? Uh, he was on the court. I think he's, he might be taking a rest. He might be taking a rest, yeah. Yeah. If, if not, I mean, I believe he's got three fouls, and there's still a lot of time left, five minutes and 11 seconds left in this third quarter, so there's still a lot of basketball to go. Okay, yeah. he's, he's on the court. I want him to score a little bit. Okay? The New Bedford defense has done a good job on it. They have. So it's going to be New Bedford's ball. They will take it out. Find the open man and he makes it. Franklin. I wish Zendon Curry did not double team Big Ron Schumacher on that play. Ah, uh, Luis Charles, he's got to finish that. Ooh, nice little over and under shovel pass, shovel shot. That was a well taken timeout by the railroad. They've increased the lead back up to 13. Wow, got the crowd on his feet. Robinson with a spin move to the basket, and the crowd loves it. And they're gonna call a foul, and the crowd does not like it. I don't blame them. Possibly there was some body contact, but I could not see it from where I'm sitting. Well, I don't know about that call either. Great effort by Okandola to block that shot. Bedford really were well prepared for this one. Well prepared. Coach for New Bedford is Matthew Hill, who's done a nice job, like you said, preparing his team to come down here in uh, Boxer territory. Yeah, yeah, they don't look like a one in six team at all. I'm, Not I'm at all. I'm surprised of their record. And who have they lost to? <laughs> Good question. They're being one of the best teams handedly in the state in their home court. Oh, the hustle play by Okandola. Took him three tries, but he finally got it. Great hustle. Goes fouled underneath. That was a smart pass by Biddle. It he was. He didn't know what he wanted to do. He wanted to go for the floater, but he found Okandola in traffic, and Okandola drew the foul. Uh, Good, strong move by Okandola. Okandola, he's, he's certainly turning up right now. He's certainly turning up. 55 44 with 3.28 left in this third quarter. Boxer's still trying to battle back. Seems like once they get within nine points, New Bedford puts in a few baskets to kick it back up to double digits. Box out! Now, this, is, this game just has a lot of emotion and passing. You could just tell some of the, some of the New Bedford players are winning in this one. Man. New Bedford looks like they brought the whole school out here. That's a 
travel. And I'm not sure where uh, Silva was passing that basketball, but it wasn't to his teammate. be out out of bounds by the boxes so it'll be New Bedford's ball underneath nine point Whaler lead and it'll be um, box of basketball Jason Starks caused that turnover in the way that was good. yep nice job by Jason Long bomb is no good. Okendola with the offensive boards, and he's fouled. Yeoman job underneath by Okendola. Playing like Moses Malone underneath. That's old school there, Chris. I, I know a little Moses Malone. You know a little bit about Moses? Okay. Yeah, I do, I do. All right. <laughs> Back the Houston Rockets yes, in, in the 60s yes. and the 70s and 80s. 76s, yes. The 70s. yes. Yeah. Ooh. First shot is no good again. Free throws are critical for the boxes since they are uh, behind. They really, gotta, they really gotta take their time from the strike. Gotta concentrate a bit. Box at lead is cut down to, excuse me, the um, New Bedford Whalers lead is cut down to eight. And that'll be Brox's ball. Nice job there by Silva. What a play by Tasia Silva. The coach was just, the coach was just, Yelling at him earlier for not for not being on the right spot on the defenses on the defensive side. Now, now he just now he just did something there. Okendola underneath, fouled. Oh, they're gonna call it travel. And they're gonna call blocking foul. They're gonna call it on uh, Biddle. Hey, side out. Bedford inbounds the ball. Brockton puts pressure on the ball. Nice defense by Jason Starks. The help was there by Tasia Silva as well. Here comes Blakely in the middle of the paint, and he's fouled. Clear, so, a clear foul. So great hustle by the Brockton defense. Take that ball away from New Bedford. And they'll try to cut the lead. Right now they're down eight points, 55-47 with two minutes. 10 seconds left in this third quarter. Yeah, the, box, the boxes are, are in this one now. New Bedford, I haven't seen New Bedford on their side of the court with their possession okay. not as often now. Okay, Brockton takes it from inbounds. I thought it was gonna be a free throw attempt, but no. And it'll be Box's ball. New Bedford's pleading their case. Right in front of the uh, Brockton bench. The pass was deflected, yeah. and Jason Starks couldn't handle it. Coach Bowen is telling his, his, his troops to get up here and put pressure on the ball. Ooh. And they're gonna call a foul on somebody. Due, due to the passion and the emotion of the game, there's gonna be a lot of fouls called. 
some of these players, they look like they look like they're mad against each other. It looks like they're mad against their opponent. Yeah, that foul. Some teammates are mad against against themselves as, as well. That foul was on Tejon Silva, and he comes out. But both teams are playing tough. This is this is a good ball game. This is a, a wonderful basketball game to watch right now. 149 left in this second and this third quarter. Nice. And he's nice losing. defense. It. Yes. And you bet that steals it right back. Ah. Oh. Too easy for New Bedford. Brockton gets it over half court. Work to the round. Navon Reed is back in the game. And nice little shovel shot by um, Robinson in the paint. Inside to Devon, nice. Oh! He's gotta oh, make those. Man. Devon, you gotta make those. His teammates have to help him out with that though. New Bedford cashes in with 40 seconds left. 10 point lead by the New Bedford Whalers and there's a foul on one of the New Bedford players. So the ball will be taken out by the boxes with 36 seconds on the clock. Fresh 30 second clock, shooting clock. Shot is no good by Davis. Yeah. A timeout called by New Bedford. Good time out by New Bedford with 19 seconds left in this third quarter. Some turnovers by, by the boxes really kept New, New, New Bedford back in it. A, a little bit a little bit of careless basketball by the boxes. Yeah, all in this uh, second half. The boxes, again, like I said, they, they've taken it down to about nine points, eight points, but then uh, New Bedford comes back, plays some good defense, get a couple baskets, and it's back up right now, 10 points. Is, is, that's exactly what they're doing. Now in the fourth quarter, Brock, the boxers cannot do that. They have to make their run in the fourth quarter, hopefully early on in the fourth quarter. Don't wait till the last three or four minutes of the game because basically New Bedford has just taken everything Brockton has uh, given to them so far. Yes, they've really done that, and, and they're just doing a good job of that as well. I think, I think, I think we may need the crowd to get into it. Yeah. Well, a couple of good defensive uh, plays, or, or maybe a dunk or something, could definitely get the crowd into it. But the uh, box is going to have to, they have to make, they have to play mistake free basketball yes. as best as possible yes. in that fourth quarter. They can't have the turnovers like they've been having all in the first three quarters, just constantly turning the ball over. There we go. There we go. Exactly, exactly what they needed. Now you just need to close it. You got to play better defense, though. Got to play good defense. Oh. oh. They right back. That's like a dagger right there. Oh. Wow. So third quarter just ended. A 63-51 New Bedford lead. And Chris, what do you see coming up? Man, New Bedford just answered back to Brockton's Brockton's momentum changer all the time. They they really know what they really know what Brockton they really know what Brockton's doing, and and I, I don't even know what who, who who Coach Bowen should go with for this to, for this fourth quarter. Obviously, Oak and Lola, and they just need some shooters. They they need some three point shots as well. They need some three pointers. 
Well, Brockton, we thought Brockton had a little momentum right there with about 14 seconds left with Korea dunking the basketball. But like you said, New Bedford seems to come back with an answer and comes back with a three-point shot to quiet this crowd. Eddie Martin had a triple bypass. I talked to him tonight. I talked to him today. He had a triple bypass about two months ago. Okay, so he becomes... He's better, yeah. Okay. He said he wants us to come down there. I told Ricky Ballard he's going to cook for us. You take a ride there. Yeah, they're fifth. When they play New Bedford on the fifth. Oh, okay. Yeah, he wants us to come down there. All right. He said he'll cook. Okay. All right. I'll give you a call. Okay. Take away the middle. So here we go. Start of the fourth quarter. Boxes with the basketball. The the, the New Bedford Rail, they just they just never let up. And Oaken Lola. Yeah. Strong move up. Yeah. Missed the first shot, but took it back up. Nice job by Oaken Dola. Wow, wow, nice nice drive by the big man, number 21 for New Bedford. New Bedford steals the ball. Little jump shot is no good. And it'll be New Bedford's ball. Um, hey Miles, can you tell me a one in six team that in high school that that can do well after a, a, a full court press? Yeah, I, I, New Bedford they they just shut down the New Bedford the Brockton press all the time. Yes, they've done an excellent job getting the ball, beating the Brockton press for the most part. Ooh. And wow, this guy Pina, he's been hitting them. He's clutch. New Bedford they've just been, they've been making their shots from everywhere, honestly. Yes. Definitely a clutch shot by Pina. Shot is no good. Louise Childs, he should have followed that shot, came right back to him. And when you're down by 14 points, that's what you do. When you shoot that jump shot, that long shot, you follow your shot. Exactly. You can tell the coach obviously didn't like that. This is desperation time for Brockner, really, honestly. Exactly. And Blakely is going to be called for the foul. Another foul for Brockner. As Blakely smothered Pina. So Bedford will take it out underneath. 6.41 on the clock. Nice block by Korea. The spacing of the floor of the New Bedford offense has just been good. The reason why they've just scored them so many baskets today. They've really, they've really, they've really just figured out the Brockton 2-3 zone. Back out top by the Whalers. That's Chumak. Inside. And nicely blocked again by Korea. Shot is blocked. We got Todd Robinson. Ooh. Okendola with the rebound. Puts and it up one. and in. And one. And one. Yeoman work by Okendola underneath. Got his offensive, got the offensive boards and put it back in and got fouled. Chance for a three-point play with 6.04 on the clock. Exactly what Brockton needs. And they just got to keep the momentum on their side, for at least for once, yes. for once in this game. Somehow the Brockton, box Brockton has actually has never had the lead in the game, actually. Yeah, somehow they, the box has to find a way to shut down New Bedford's um, offense. Because yeah, Bro Brockton can't keep going back, um, trading basket for basket at this time in the game. You cannot do that at all, yes. Shot is missed. 
Blakely with the ball, comes out of the pack. Trying to go coast to coast. Shot is just missed. Oh! Nice block by Robinson. Robinson went way up for the block. Great defensive play by number 13, Todd Robinson on the big man. So great effort. And going to the line will be Louise Charles. 12 point New Bedford lead at the moment with 5.33 on the clock. Louise Charles really needs to sink these free throws. Oh no, actually, it's actually gonna be an inbound. Oh. And it'll be Brockton's ball. Nice rebound, offensive boards by Korea. 10 point way to the lead at the moment. And nice defense by the boxers. Coach was looking, looking for a foul. Okandola with the block, out of bounds, great effort. Bedford trying to take it out underneath. DL, good call. Good call. Travel. Boxers need to come down and, and make some points. They're down by 10, 67, 57. Nice oh. by Zen coast nice, to coast. Nice by Zendik Carrera, I like that. Brockton just cannot let them score though. Here comes Blakely, Okanlola. Nice, Okanlola. Just get the job done, just get the job done. 67, 61. Don't, don't foul, don't foul. You can't foul, you cannot foul. And they're gonna call blocking foul. Okanlola a bit too aggressive. Ooh. You, can't, you can't afford fouls, you, can't, you really cannot. And the aggressive defense has the, the Brockton fans oh, on their oh. feet. And there's some, there's some conversation at center court, some disagreement, but the Referees get in and break it up. Six point, whale of lead. Shot is missed. Brock got bailed out a bit. Yep, boxes come back down on the court. You gotta play smart basketball. Nice shot. Nice take by Todd Robinson. Yes. 67-63. Box can't put, foul, can't foul, can't foul. Boxes put pressure I on the ball and they're gonna call a foul on Korea. Honestly, honestly, I see I see I see Zenit Carrera's disagreement. Just a little bit body, just the body to body contact, but. But he's it's got, gonna go the offensive player's way. Yeah, he's gotta be careful. Oh. He's the big man. Oh. And when you're trying to cover somebody with great basketball um, dribbling skills, it's gonna be tough. And that'll be number two, Chumak, going to the free throw line with a four point lead. And the crowd is into it. Korea's gonna come out. I believe he's got four fouls.
five point Whaler lead. And Chumac has one more free throw. Gonna try to put it up to six. And he makes it. Six point box the lead. And they're gonna call travel. Oh. Oh. Robinson tried to dish it to Oak and Lola low. It was, was a low pass. Tough break for the boxes there. And nice transition game right there by New Bedford. I think the ball hit the floor one time. Oakland Lola. Oh, nice drive. Oh, nice That's a big man. Six point deficit. Long bomb is good. Painter again with the dagger. Clutch shooting by Painter. Stark, bang. Big nice shot, Stark. Big three pointer by Stark. That was big, that was big. With 3.15 on the clock, timeout. Timeout by Brockton with 3.15, a 68-74 boxer deficit. And again, boxers cannot trade baskets. They're gonna have, uh, they've been playing some pretty good defense to get it down by six, but they have to continue the tough defense because again, with three minutes left, they cannot trade baskets. Also, they cannot trade baskets, they just cannot foul. The fouling has, is the reason, uh, one of the reasons why New Bedford ha had big leads throughout the whole game. They really just gotta stay consistent. And one of the key, as far as not fouling, the big men, Korea and Okendole, they cannot foul. I know Korea must have four fouls. Okandola has three or four. So they cannot afford to lose their big men. Yes, they cannot. At, at, at this moment, because they're the ones in there getting the rebounds. Yeah, they've been they've been the heart of Brockton so far in this game. So it'll be um New Bedford's ball, I believe, when they come out of the huddle. It's a six point basketball game. I mean there's, there's, still, there's still a lot of hope. There's still a lot of hope. There's plenty of time left. 3.15. Right. right now, it's a two-possession game for, for the boxes. Nice movement without the basketball. Number one, Franklin. That wasn't good defense by the boxers. Nope. That was Franklin came right down the paint. Long three is oh. no good. Nice rebound by Starks. And it'll be out of bounds by Walt, uh, by the Whalers. Boxes down by eight points and Korea will come back in. And they will need Korea, because they need second attempts, and third attempts if necessary on the offensive boards. Oh, ooh, that bad pass, that was a mental breakdown right there by Robinson. Shot taken, good. Oh. Big shot right there. That was a two-pointer. Two minutes and 10 seconds. Oh. Stolen. And they're gonna call charge. charge. That was a tough call, but it was a good good acting job by um, a good Blakely. Acting, a good acting job, but that three, that three was a little bit of a dagger, honestly. Yeah. That hurt, because it's back up to 10 points. 78-68. Two minutes and seven seconds left in this basketball game. We got the six and one boxes going up against the one and six New Bedford Whalers. I don't know who New Bedford's been playing, but long three by Stocks is Ooh, in and oh, out. That's good. Oh, that, that, mm.
Ooh, no look pass is good. By Chumac, nice no look pass. And nice job by Robinson driving in, but they cannot leave anybody open back there for the easy two. Back to a 12 point lead with 122 on the clock. Yeah, the, the Whalers, they've had their lucky breaks. They've, they've had their lucky breaks when, when, Box, when, when Brockton answered. They, and those lucky breaks really killed Brockton. Boxes with the ball. They need a shot. And oh, Robinson wow. loses it again. Another turnover. Oh. One minute left in this ball game. Boxes down by 14. And Korea misses a shot and he's hurt. Korea's hurt. Korea's down in some pain oh. with 50 seconds left in this ball game. And New Bedford, you can hear the New Bedford Whalers. They they smell the victory. Yeah, they're, they're smelling, yeah, they're smelling the second victory of the season. They, they, they came out here and they played tough. They, yeah. did, they did their job. But Zenit Carrera looks a little hurt. Brockton will Brockton will enter this. Brockton will enter to this game. They will. They will enter to this game. Well, they do have to go down to New Bedford later on in the season. And Korea gets up. Yeah, the next game is at Durfee, January 11th. Another, another divisional matchup. So the boxes will come out of here at six and two. The Bedford will improve, will improve the two and six. And we just like to thank our tech team and our cameramen doing a fine job on this exciting yes, evening yes. of uh, boxer basketball. Unfortunately, the boxes will come out on the short end of the stick. as New Bedford came in here and just basically ambushed the um, six and one boxes. This, this is the game the boxes will remember for, for this season, they will remember this game. As the clock winds down, less than seven seconds to go. And the Whalers will come out on top. And there you have it, folks. The New Bedford Whalers upset the six and one Brockton boxes on their home turf. And Chris, what was your recap of the ball game today? Honestly, New, New Bedford, they. They, they just had, they had passion, they had heart. They had heart. You know, they're showing respect right now, but they probably, they obviously don't mean that in, in, inside, inside, in their insides. But it was a good basketball game. Well, Brock, I, Brockton will remember this game for the season. Well, I'll tell you one thing, one key ingredient on why the New Bedford uh, Whalers won this basketball game. New Bedford Whalers basketball game's guard play outshined Brockton's guard play. Yeah, Brockton gave up the ball too many times, their guards. Just too many, t too many turnovers, and they couldn't quite drive to the basket like, um, yes, like the Bedford guards were driving to the basket and hitting the outside shot. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I mean, Todd Robinson, Jason Starks, and Diamond Blakely—they had a lot of turnovers in this one, as you just said, guard play. They, they really just, 
but but the game got to them. They're gonna they're gonna remember this. They're yeah. gonna remember this. Well, there you have it, folks. An exciting um, league game this evening. New Bedford Whalers come in here to Staff Gymnasium and surprise the Brockton Boxers with an 84-70 win. So this is Miles Jackson along with Chris Brazil. Brazil. Yes, Brazil. We'll see you next time, and we're signing off now. Everyone have a nice evening. Good night, everyone.